Thousands of people spending the day in their cars for hours to give swab collections for coronavirus testing. 13 Action News reporter Astrid Mendez is live near Sahara and Jones. And Astrid, you spoke with a mother who also works in the medical field and is concerned about her health, which is really understandable. That mother is Adriana Dockett, who was waiting in this parking lot for four hours to get her nose swapped. But she said that the, war, the wait was worth it because now she has a peace of mind, despite not knowing if she has the coronavirus. I've mean, I just been taking a nap in my car on and off social media. I have to use the bathroom, but I can't get up. While waiting in her car, Adriana could only think about her two kids and her health doctor who was actually like go home you know we don't want you here because I've been feeling sick. Having flu symptoms since last weekend. Also for work she's in contact with several dental patients. Being in their mouths and you know waking them up from surgery walking them to the car we're in close contact with other people so it's been very you know um, an urgent thing for me and it's been on my mind. That motivated her to come early to this clinic, ready to confront her fears, one no swap at a time. Okay. All right. <coughs> Adriana says that it's important to face her fears. This is the main priority right now, just making sure, you know, everybody's taken care of financially, too, because not having sick time or not being able to call, call off work or worried about other bills when you don't have a choice is very, very scary for our, you know, our sanity, our, our livelihoods are at stake at this point. Adriana hopes she doesn't have the novel coronavirus, but she will have to wait three days to get those results, including her. Around other 250 people were able to go through the same process. And tomorrow it's expected that around the same amount of people go through it once more in this clinic. Reporting live, Astrid Mendez, 13 Action News. Yeah, we